the U.S. Census Bureau population projections, in 2045, whites will account for less than 50 percent of the population in the United States. Given that the Democratic Party's policies do not point towards the maintaining of our American ideals, and given the most groups other than whites overwhelmingly vote Democrat, how can we be sure that said American ideals will be maintained when millions of immigrants come in with majority Democratic support? Can you prove that our white European ideals can be maintained if the country's majority is no longer made up of white European descendants? If, if, if right. not, should we support I, I, I mass applauding. legal let immigration? Let okay, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. All right, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me answer, I guess, your question with my perspective. I've been asked this a couple times in the last week and a half. Let me tell you my stance on immigration, then I'm going to tell you where I think you go terribly wrong with your question. Okay? I think that we should embrace Senator Tom Cotton's RAISE Act which is to lower the amount of legal immigrants into our country, but increase the merit base that we let people to come into our country. End the visa lottery, end chain migration, make English the official language of the United States, build the southern border, and restrict the amount of flow of border jumping and line cutting to come into our country. But always, I'm, I'm always perplexed by this argument that, that I'm, always, I'm always interested by this argument, like, oh, how are we going to maintain our white status? So let's play out that racist idea. And all of a sudden, we let a bunch of French people in our country. No, let's, let's, let, let's, let's, let's play that idea. We let a bunch of German or French people who are all socialist and hate our values. And the insinuation of your question is that somehow race and ideology are intertwined together. President Donald Trump has been wrongly accused of being a racist president. Do you know that President Donald Trump received more support in the Latino and the black community than John McCain and Mitt Romney? Combined. Combined. I will also say Combined. that it is a failure of the conservative movement to not be able to communicate to communities in the black community, which I believe the black community is an inherently conservative community, a community that is around the ideas of the Judeo-Christian tradition.